Photosynthesis is a process that takes place inside a plant. It's when plants use light to make food. An easy way to remember this is photo means light and synthesis means to put something together. This chemical reaction is vital for a plant to survive and to grow. Plants need food to respire, to grow and to reproduce. Plants are producers. This means that they are able to make their own food. They do this by the process of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis takes place in the leaves of plants, specifically in the chloroplasts of leaves containing chlorophyll. The equation for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide from the air, water, and light energy usually from sunlight. This reaction produces oxygen and glucose. The formula for carbon dioxide is CO2. The formula for water is H2O. The formula for oxygen is O2. The formula for glucose is C6H12O6. Firstly, carbon dioxide and water enter the leaf. Carbon dioxide enters through the stomata of the leaf via diffusion. Water is absorbed by the roots from the soil. This water is then transported to the leaves by the xylem vessels. Sunlight provides the energy for the process to take place. The chlorophyll in plants can absorb the light energy. The products are oxygen and glucose. Oxygen is released back into the air and is released through the stomata of the leaf. Glucose is a source of energy for the plant. Glucose is transported around the plant by the flowing vessels. Leaves are adapted for photosynthesis in a few different ways. Firstly, leaves are big and they have a large surface area. This allows more sunlight to be absorbed. Secondly, leaves are green due to the chlorophyll in the chloroplasts. This helps them to absorb sunlight. Thirdly, leaves are thin, which allows the diffusion of gases in and out of the leaf. Fourthly, the leaves have vascular tissues. Tubes that carry food from the leaves to the rest of the plant are known as phloem. Tubes that carry water and nutrients from the roots to the other parts of the plant are called the xylem. Now that we have learnt what photosynthesis is, we must understand that if any of these elements are limited, then it will affect the rate of photosynthesis. So, if there's not enough carbon dioxide, water or light energy, then the rate of photosynthesis will be affected. Therefore, the rate of photosynthesis will be lower. Other factors that affect photosynthesis are the temperature and the amount of chlorophyll in leaves. So if the temperature is too high, then enzymes will denature. And if there is less chlorophyll in the leaves, then this means that less light energy can be absorbed. Ultimately, both will result in a lower rate of photosynthesis.